Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Motion Bernie, guys. Another video. In today's video, we're going to talk to you guys about Fortnite replacing weapons. So if you guys don't know, Fortnite is not scared to update things within the game to get rid of old things to make something new and refreshing within the game. If you guys don't remember, they, they got uh, revamped the map completely, which added Tilted Towers and all these other new cities to make the map completely different. Instead of adding a brand new map and deleting it, what they like to do is they like to just update cities and sometimes they'll get rid of cities like Dusty Divot and factories and or actually dusty depot they replace it with dusty divot so they got rid of dusty completely um and put a crater in the place they don't they don't they're not scared to get rid of things so that's one thing about epic is that we got to keep in mind when we're talking about this subject so basically there is a rumor that there are going to be a new set of two snipers and a new shotgun coming to the game so this means they could be vaulting some of the old weapons pretty soon because if you guys don't know they did add two brand new submachine guns and vaulted the tac SM so they did vault one weapon in my opinion it, it, it sucks because the tech smg was one of my favorites it was one of the a lot of people's favorites smgs but they got rid of it instantly and they didn't they didn't look back at it they just vaulted it and they added two new weapons to the game and they're not scared to do new things like this because it changes the game it makes it refreshing in my opinion honestly i like it because it makes a new matters within the game so that way it's just always something new i mean that's one thing about game developers what they do is if you keep something the same over and over again people get tired of it and they get board so if you're adding new things and making people try new things that where it's not just double pumping and stuff like that they're trying new things and they're having fun learning new things about the game yes that it does suck because right when you get good at something they might get rid of it or something like that but then again it just think about this it's something new it's refreshing it's not the same thing over and over again so with that being said, yes, data miners ended up finding out two new weapons coming to the game. Well, actually three, two brand new snipers and one new shotgun. If you guys hear banging, I do apologize. I, you probably didn't hear until I said that, but there's people working on our roof right now and it, I can't do anything about it. They got to get it done. So yes, I do apologize for that. But with that being said, yes, there is two brand new snipers coming and a brand new shotgun. Now, does it make sense for them to have four snipers within the game as well as I think three to four, I think three shotguns? Shotguns. Three shotguns. No, actually four shotguns and four snipers to be added to the game. That's a lot of different weapon variants. Um, I have a feeling that what they're going to do is add these two snipers and maybe get rid of the semi-automatic sniper and just keep the rest. So basically three new snipers or three snipers within the game and then they're going to keep the brand new shotgun also added to the game. So it looks like a double barrel pump. Um, so it looks like it's going to have two shots in it, but it's going to be able to shoot faster than the normal pump. It'll probably be like boom, boom instead of like boom wait boom where you got to actually pump it because it's a double barrel but it does suck because double barrels mean you got to reload a lot quicker so if you miss your shots it's not going to be good but if you're good and you hit your shots it's probably going to be one of the stronger weapons within the game but i wanted to bring you guys this video because i want to talk about weapons that are going to be leaving they're adding new snipers they're getting rid of smgs they're probably going to get rid of another sniper so it looks like we're starting to see fortnite create brand new things within the game so if you guys don't know now we first started out the game with three assault rifles we had the scar we had the normal m4 assault rifle and then we had the burst assault rifle those were the only three weapons added to the game and then they added the famas which was another assault rifle another burst that they added to the game which it made sense because they didn't have a legendary basically a gold or purple variant of the burst weapon so they added that to make sure that that way there's actually a gold and legendary version of it which it makes sense it was good everyone loved the update because i mean if you don't use it it's okay you still have the other weapons to use so it's not like you're losing anything you're just gaining from that now next up we have i don't think they're releasing any other assault rifles we haven't seen anything with that we're talking about shotguns next all we had at first was the tactical and then the pump and then they added the heavy shotgun which made sense because they wanted a legendary and a purple version of that as well so they they're adding these weapons because it makes sense not just to have a legendary and gold version of only the scar they wanted that for every single weapon variant they wanted that for the burst they wanted that for the shotguns as well and then we're moving on to the smgs which we do not actually we do have the uh, a legendary now that i think about it we have the new p90 that they added but before we never had a legendary and purple version of the smgs but now they added the p90 so it makes sense that we got that and the p90 shreds man it is insane they also added a new smg as well as the drum gun which the drum gun doesn't really count as an smg because it, it's like a mixer it's an smg slash assault rifle because the clip is really big it shoots pretty pretty fast kind of like an smg um but the only thing is is it takes medium bullets so it's not as good as the your, your normal smg but it is still a very valuable weapon as if it could be used like a secondary weapon so 
with them adding that to the game those are some more updates that they have with weapons and then they added things like the deagle um i think that's about it they added like a guided missile that nobody really cared about they took out the tac smg which was one of the most favorited smgs ever they added the hand cannon um i'm looking on a website right now before that's all they really had then they added the hunting rifle i remember okay so we're going to talk about snipers so at first they only had one sniper they had or actually they had two they had the normal bold action sniper then they had the semi-auto sniper rifle um which had a purple and gold version but the bolt version had the same exact thing so i don't think they really cared about adding a new sniper just to get a gold version because they already had that but then they added the hunting rifle which was a very good sniper rifle because you can actually see your reticle without aiming in if you don't know what the reticle is it's the little plus sign that you see on the your screen where it shows where your bullets actually going with the normal sniper rifles that's not shown unless you zoom in so you're actually never seeing it but with the hunting rifle you can actually no scope and stuff like that but now they're adding two brand new snipers you guys two brand new snipers now i'm gonna read it off this website um exactly what they said on it the new weapons added into fortnite files in version 5.2 are the following break barrel shotgun heavy sniper and the rail sniper so these are three new weapons that they're adding to the game um we don't know exactly what the rail sniper does but we know the heavy shotgun shoots through objects it shoots through material it shoots through any building structure so that way if someone's hiding behind it it can actually hit them like that so if you guys don't know there's actually clips on save the world of people using this exact sniper rifle so if you want to see what it looks like um there's clips all over i'll probably try and put it in a clip for you guys if not you can just youtube save the world clips and stuff like that of the heavy sniper rifle that's coming to the game so these are just data mine files we don't know 100 percent if these are actually coming to the game or whatnot but they are in the game files so maybe this could be coming very soon so yes there you guys have it there are two brand new snipers not one but two we, we're, we don't know anything about the rail sniper yet uh there's no clues or anything we did get an update in fortnite where it told us that the heavy sniper was coming to the game they just they forgot to add it so i think this week is when they're going to actually drop it i think either tuesday or thursday is when they're going to drop the new sniper rifle uh for now they ended up just vaulting the or unvolting the guided missile which i don't know why i, I hate that thing it's, it's not really anything special about it it's just it's just a waste of time and they've nerfed it so it's not even good anymore at all um but in my opinion i mean it is what it is they can add do whatever they want they're just trying to see what the community how they feel about certain things and they're going to change things but guys there you have it that's the end of the video if you guys please can give this video a thumbs up share this with your friends let them know that there's two brand new snipers coming so if you do love sniping get ready for it